Hello, welcome back to some more Yumaniki. We currently have 20 effects uh, out of the 24. Today I'm going to gather two. I'm going to gather the Oni effect, uh, the sort of demons from Japanese folklore, and I will gather the, have to look at my whiteboard for a second, the flute effect. That's what I have planned out for today. And I'm also going to show you the special witch thing, which I wanted to show you in a previous episode, but decided not to. So first we need to go to the shield folk world, which I believe is this one. Yes, correct. Um, so, before we start, a word of warning. Where we are going right now, uh, yes, here it is. There will be a lot of flashing uh, static in the background uh, as I move through an invisible maze. So, if you if if you if you're very sensitive to that, um, you might want to you might want to skip ahead. I'll I'll put up in the screen um, a safe. Timestamp. <laughs> uh, I say timestamp. Uh, anyway, there will be a time in your screen, and, and you can jump to that, and, and you'll be absolutely fine. As I said that, before I even finished that sentence, I went into the maze. I am um, terrible. Um, okay. Mm -mm -mm. Yes. This is always fun, isn't it? Navigating an invisible maze. Oh, I remember um, that being a case in Pokemon Yellow, the uh, fifth uh, gym, for for the Fuchsia badge, or was it Fuchsia Town? I can't remember, uh, but I believe we're here, yeah. And we're in the Famicom world, um, or at least the Famicom house, uh, and this is also the world uh, for which I had to drop one of the effects. If you try to enter this world with 24 effects, it doesn't really work. Uh, it has to do with data values, that's all I know. <laughs> I'm not a computer scientist. Ooh. I've never come here wearing headphones, so now I can hear this sort of beat in the background. It's, it's, well, it's just a very simple beat, but it's a layer of this music I've never heard before. Nice. And we're looking for one specific room. And I think I've already gone the wrong way. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> so, you know, this is a very useful corridor to have in your house. <laughs> oh, here we are. Yeah, this is another part of the Famicom uh, world, but it's completely closed off uh, from that part of the Famicom world. I cannot get to there. Um, I need to go through another part of the dream world, so back down we go. But to get the Oni effect, I don't even need to go there. I need to go to a very specific room uh, somewhere in this basement. And I've forgotten where I came... Ah, we're on the right track, I think, because of those cabinets. Yes, there we are. So we can wait for these mushrooms to move by themselves, or you can stab them. And here is a demon... And now we can du, 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 turn into a demon. And we can roar, but of course, because we're in the 8-bit world, it sounds like just a beep. Um, let's see, this one. Fun thing about the demon effect, if it's uh, raining and you try to shout as uh, a demon, you'll cause a bolt of lightning to appear <laughs> or at least thunder and a flash of lightning okay and now the second effect is located in the mall so we need to go to the graffiti world again first for that we will need to go up past this toilet and then to the left i believe yes there we are okay here we are, the mall. And there are people, you can talk to them, but they kind of just begin to disintegrate and make really strange noises. <laughs> and this is the kind of uh, mall where there is constantly 24-7 a train passing over your head by the sounds of it. This is the entirety of the soundtrack, just the um, clanging of the train coming by. Oh, right. 
uh, she cannot reach you, but she can change uh, the menu card for you. And uh, this flute. And he is merrily singing. Uh, where is the flute effect? This area and these posters and the fact that you gather a flute here are sometimes used as evidence as um, a part of Madutsky's uh, backstory. A very, very grim part of her backstory. Uh, but let's uh, not go into that right now. Um, what was I saying? Yeah. Uh, there is another, another few areas in this mall where you can go. Uh, I'll just quickly try to find them. Um, and this uh, special witch business as I will call it from now on. Though knowing myself, I will only call it that once and then never again because I don't I don't have a script. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I forgot what I was saying. Uh, oh, right. The special witch business. See, I call it that again. You never know with me. Um, it's on the roof of the mall. So, yeah, we can get there easily. And this is another room and... Another interesting poster. And this guy just does that. He leaks blood and refuses to stop. Okay, so glad we witnessed that. Now we need to go back to the escalators. Uh, yes, here we are. Fun fact, we can also go down. But we won't go there this episode. So if you want to know what, what's there, tune in another time. Or just kind of play the game on your own. Or watch another video on YouTube. Um, yeah, this traffic cone is always here uh, at least seems to be always there but by random chance it can be gone and then you have access to the roof but it's not really working out right now maybe if we aha uh -huh, okay um yeah so i was right there is a one in four chance of that traffic cone disappearing upon entering uh, the thing is you have to exit and enter through the elevator doors, not the escalator. So now we can go up to the roof. And there's always a small kitty cat here. Let's just interact with him in a way he can understand. Uh, da, 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 da. It's a cat with red eyes, which is kind of creepy. Sorry, I, I, for a moment I thought the cat was moving before I pressed one, but that wasn't the case. No. Okay, what we can do here is activate the witch effect, get on our broom, and just go for a ride over the city and the lovely mountainscape behind us. Um, nothing really special happens here. I can press um, the activate key and go back here. Or, I just realized I've been... <laughs> I've been using the word activate in two different ways in this playthrough. Um, but anyway, I can... I'm just going to put away the broom and then this will happen. I will fall down. A whole bunch of wind is moving past us. And we wake up after a very, very um, turbulent dream, shall we say. Anyway, that's all I wanted to show you for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. And yes, I'm saving.